Hello everybody, let's just dive in and ask how we can create 2.5D sci-fi disclaimer. I did use generated AI photos from Stable Diffusion. I use Diffusion B. Diffusion B, it's basically Stable Diffusion for Mac users, Mac OS. For this tutorial, I want to give some credit to Molly Rosalie. Thank you Molly for that. So let's go to DaVinci Resolve and I will show you how we're going to do it. All right, right now we are on DaVinci Resolve. Basically, I want to use the power of DaVinci Resolve Studio. The reason that I like to use DaVinci Resolve is because of the magic mask. You can also do it on Photoshop, GIMP, Affinity Photos, whatever you want. What we can do now, it's basically import image. I prefer create the timeline accordingly because the project is vertical project, 180 by 9020 for TikTok, for real, for shorts, for start, because I want to have a room to play with the camera, you will see it in a second. I need the same resolution of the image. Let's go and create some timeline. I'm gonna use, we don't need the vertical, it's horizontal. And we have the first timeline, great. Now, what we want to do, we just want to cut first foreground. It's basically, it's recommended to take this photo, put it on a new fusion clip, all right, go to Fusion page. What we can do is open the Magic Mask by Shift and Space, import Magic Mask. For only the foreground, I'm gonna take the Magic Mask tool, it's already created. And just to make a quick line, I want all of this, some nice smile and one, two, three, already happened, very quick. I need to subtract. This is the add, this is the subtract and all I needed to do, just tell Da Vinci I don't want this one. And we want to have more from the astronauts, so maybe this one. I'm strongly recommend to make it better. All right, you see it's looking much smoother. And maybe go to the mat and just a little bit make it blur. Not too much, just a little bit. All right, so we have the foreground, just export it as PNG. Don't forget to put it on alpha. Let's do it from here. Export, and let's save it here. All right, foreground and done, you're saved. No problem, add to render queue and... All right, and for the background, we want to create another one. So I like to put it one on the right and one on the left and keep only the background subtract here or just add here doesn't matter let's just paint everything here and let da vinci do its magic so i really like to use the best tool i can use that will make my life much easier don't forget to make it better so we don't want this area more or less something like that we will make it bigger and something like that if for some reason you accidentally put a red subtract here, just go to select here, press it, only this one, and delete. That's it. You can export the image, put it on a timeline. This is the foreground, so I'm gonna put, I want to export only this single frame. Go to the timeline, go to publish. Just make sure your the in and out range is only one frame and add to render queue. So I'm strongly recommend that you will not create save as from the Fusion. Usually make it only by publish. Export alpha. It will export only what's inside of the PNG. Export, render. We want to mix them together where the camera will move from the left to the right side. This is the camera, this is the background, and this is the foreground. I like Blender because for some reason it just make it much flexible for me, but you can also do it on DaVinci. Let's go and start to create the camera, a new fusion composition. I don't need the same timeline as the foreground and background. I need a new timeline. So we want to make it vertical, 1080 by 1920. We call it camera movement, movement, import, background. We see it, see it here and the foreground. Basically, if we put it layer by layer, so it will work. We see the layer are merging. Create fusion composition. Okay, so we have the foreground and we have the background. Let's move them both here to the fusion page. Create the illusion of 2.5D. 
So basically what DaVinci need to know that he can create an image plane, a 3D image plane, and you need to have some uh, merge 3D and camera and basically the render 3D. Also, don't forget, we need to take media out once again. Media out is the final output. First one will be the foreground and the second layer will be the background. Okay, for the foreground, I need to add 2D plane, image 2D plane here. We are gonna use image plane 3D no this, no this, no this, merge 3D and camera 3D. So once again, let's take image plane 3D and another merge node. All right, and a merge node and put the foreground inside the image plane 3D. Now, this all comes together, you can see it. All right, we already start to see the 3D environment because it's a merge 3D. So control, zoom in, zoom out, alt, rotate around the object. And if we just press on the middle mouse button, it will just move the entire environment. We need to add a camera, but before that, let's make another merge. We're gonna put image plane and another merge, merge by merge, no problem. You cannot do this. We need to have a render 3D. Let's move it. So merge to render 3D and render 3D to media output. Let's summarize. The camera should always be on the final merge node. We have three things. The first one is the foreground. All right, this is the foreground. The foreground is the astronaut standing on the hill, this one. And we have the image plane 3D, merge, following by merge node. So foreground, image, merge. The merge go to another merge. And we connected the background, image plane. Basically, this is the plane that the image is on it. All right, we can move it. You see, we can move it left, right, no problem. They are clipping, well, what we can fix it. Here, this is the foreground. We can also move it. So it's all 3D now. We can move it and we have the camera, which is here, in, out, whatever we want. The background should be far away and much bigger, if you ask me. But before that, so we not get confused, this is all 3D. But anyway, you can put it on the X and Y and Z axis. This is the Z, this is the X axis, and this is the Y axis. So we can do whatever we want. Let's put it here, more or less, and put it here. By the way, pay attention here. And so it will be something like that. We already have the effect of the parallax. We just need to sell it. Let's go to the background. You can rotate it. You can scale it. Rotate, so we can rotate it. See, it's rotating here. It's a 3D plane, so we can do whatever we want. All right, we can also rotate something like this. And if you don't like to work from this one, so you can get, just go to image plane, transform, and do the same. Position, goes up, go down, rotation, it's the same. Let's scale it a little bit. Scale it, scale it, scale it, scale it, scale it. Now it's like a movie set. Far away, but very big. The foreground is already starting to be very close to the camera. And we can do something like that. If you want to really make a small dial, so you can play like this. Far away, closer. But we don't want to animate the foreground. We want to animate the camera. So uh, for the first composition, maybe something like that. Right, this is why you should really clean the background, you should really clean the PNG alpha, but this is for the trial. Once again, we need to extend to scale the background, uh, something like that. So we will get the illusion that the astronaut is very, very far, is already far away. Maybe don't put the background, just take the original image and scale it. Let's go to the media pool and take the original image. Now we have the original image. This is the original image, by the way. All right, this is the full original image. So you will have two astronauts and this is the, I don't know if you can see it. And this is the PNG. So the camera is looking from here to here. So this is here to here. 
it's not getting bigger, it's getting closer. You see it's getting closer. It's on the Z axis. It's getting closer to the camera, but we want to make it bigger. All right, now it's looking. So it will be the horizon, the big horizon. And we don't see the astronaut here all, uh, already. Now, to really sell the effect, we want to make the camera move. See? Oh, now this is the selling of the effect. See? We have, oh, you see? This is, this is the background. You see the small astronaut here because the camera is seeing it. And we have the camera here. So we can need to start from here. We can start, sorry, by the way, we can go to the camera and go to transform and and create this nice illusion. We can go uh, up to down here. You can go, you can create dolly from down to up, like something like that, like it's discovering. Let's start from here. We can animate something like that very nice we can sell the parallax or uh, i like it from the left to the right it's up to you so maybe something like that this is why we have to clean the png but it's okay let's start from frame zero i want to make the key point here this is the first key point all right and this we will go this is the first keyframe no sorry no key point first keyframe let's go until frame 100 and i want to move it until we will see the astronaut something like that eh, it's okay so we have this nice animation see very nice smooth animation just need to give it to render very nice and let's give it to render now we have this nice animation and we are selling the effect all right, I hope you like it. Thank you, Molly, for this amazing image. I uh, really like it. Thank you for your help. Feel free to leave a like, comment, share, whatever you want, and even subscribe to the channel. And also, if you go to my channel, you can view the full series of Celestial Voyage Volume 1. Hope you like it. I'll see you soon on the next video where I will show and demonstrate how you can create this in Blender. In Blender, it's a little bit more versatile when you're looking at 3D, but the combination between DaVinci and Blender are amazing, so why not? Hope you like it. See you soon.